you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. We welcome you to today's show and ask those of you who have not subscribed to please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we continue to expose the satanic Illuminati agenda and the ushering in of the Antichrist. Today's show, I want to expose yet another Illuminati symbol. It is one you actually will see often if you look for it. There's celebrities that have tattoos of it on their body. It is the satanic cross or the Leviathan cross. Antoine LeVay, Leviathan Cross, which is the cross you can find inside of the Satanic Bible, written by Antoine LeVay. The origins of this symbol goes back to the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar, okay, they worshipped Baphomet in secrecy. They worshipped and followed the Baphomet. They were at the core Satanists. And Antoine LeVay adopted this symbol for the Church of Satan. So it became the symbol for the Church of Satan, if you take a look at the symbol, you can see he's got a few things mixed together. Okay, you see the infinity sign at the bottom, and then you see a double cross at the top. The double cross symbolizes balance between people, protection, and then, of course, the infinity sign, which I've already exposed, but it, that underlines the to them the constant and infinite nature, okay, and eternal rest and happiness. And Antoine LaVey in the Satanic Bible you know, also uses this a lot as a mockery to the Christian cross or Christianity cross. Uh, you know, he wants to show a difference between how Christians are a religion based off of dependency on a deity and a slandering of human nature, making it a religion based around corruption and lies, according to LaVey, whereas to the Satanists, it shows that humans are their own centrum of balance and truth, which goes into Baphomet and balance and your good deeds outweigh your bad deeds and all these things that are rooted in Freemasonry and Satanism, okay, and the Baphomet worship. The cross also could be a symbol of free choice, the two crosses on top of the infinity sign. You'll also see the sign in alchemy, okay, it is a symbol for sulfur, which is one of the three essential elements of nature. You'll see it tattooed on some of these satanic celebrities. Dave Navarro. I have no idea who this guy is or what he's famous for or what he does. But apparently he's famous because they throw him on the television set. He's got it right there on his neck. Okay, you'll see other satanists having it tattooed on their body. So when you see this symbol, understand what it means. It has a satanic meaning to it. It is the satanic cross. In a sense, it is mocking Jesus Christ, but also is a symbol for the Baphomet for the Knights Templar, okay, for the Church of Satan, and it is brought upon by Antoine LaVey, who resurrected it from the Knights Templar. It also is the symbol for brimstone, okay, so it's a symbol for sulfur and brimstone, brimstone, the lemon-colored stone found at the brim of volcanoes and hot springs, so you'll see the symbol in other places, but know that, like, most of these symbols, like I've said over and over, have dual meanings. They, you know, they already have these symbols, and then they give these symbols to other things so that the masses, you know, whether they tattoo the symbol on themselves or wear it on their shirts or inadvertently, you know, have yang yangs in their home or inadvertently throw up the peace sign, not knowing what it means to the Satanists or the occult. They want you to think it has dual meanings. That way they can throw it up to one another and know who's in the brotherhood. That's how they get away with this. The secret symbols, the secret handshakes, all of these secrets that humans are not, well, I shouldn't say humans, that we Specifically, we're not trained to pick up on because we were trained to live a completely different way than they are. The world is controlled on these symbols, okay, that they use. So they give them dual meanings so that you use them, they get away with them, and you're inadvertently giving worship or praise to Satan without knowing it. But that's okay with Satan 
because he'll take the worship however he can get it, even if it is inadvertent, because he's prideful and, you know, wants everybody to worship and be obsessed with him, as most of these Satanists are and want themselves. So again, this is the Satanic cross, the Leviathan cross. Might have pronounced it wrong, Leviathan cross. I don't apologize if I pronounce the Leviathan cross incorrectly. It is really the Satanic cross. And like I said, the roots go back to the Knights Templar and the Baphomet. You'll see it all over the place if you start looking for it. Okay, it will be tattooed on people. It'll be on shirts and stuff like that. The Satanists proudly wear it. It's in their Satanic Bible. So this is just another symbol. It's important to know these things. It's important to see them. Start looking for symbols, like I've constantly been saying. Look for symbols wherever you can. Okay, because they're symbols. They're, they're letting you know all around us where they are, what they run, what they own. The company logos have these symbols, whether it has just the infinity sign in it. Okay, these are all witch symbols or satanic symbols, you know, involved in witchcraft and sorcery. So be alert, be aware, keep your eyes open for them. If anybody out there sees symbols like this, whether it's in their town, whether it's on a building, feel free to, you know, send them to me. I'd love to, you know, just have them and then, you know, maybe do a video on exposing these places, whether they're government buildings or whether they're, you know, just Masonic temples in your town or other businesses in your town that are using these symbols. Okay, it's not a coincidence when they use them. They're not just, somebody's not just going into the marketing room going, hey, I'm going to do this pyramid with an eye in it because it just is like, let me explain. I had this vision and people are like, ooh, ah, uh, that's not how it works. Okay, There's these people, they, they trick us into like, you know, going into going to school for advertising and marketing and ooh, and let's create these logos and these symbols. Meanwhile, if you look at their symbols, they couldn't be more bland. They're just basically using the same satanic symbols over and over the pyramids. Okay. The infinity signs, the all seeing eye, these companies mark themselves the six, six, six. You can even find, you know, Google has the six, six, six and the Google Chrome. Okay. Other companies have the six, six, six hidden in it. You know, whether it's Coca-Cola or whoever, it's not by coincidence. They're strategically placed there. They're letting one another know, okay, they're in control. They're paying homage to Satan that way and making a mockery of the rest of us. So keep an eye out for these symbols. They are everywhere. They are all around us. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families. May peace be with you.